after father and mother because father and mother also related to someone they are related to some you can say some uh, grandfather after then forefather or you can say ancestors this is just a series of ancestry and in india we can say two ancestors are having very strong foundation which are still having impact on the civilization of india one is the surya ones that is ancestor of sri rama and opposite of that ravan was also having a from good ancestor family that also i will tell to you ram has come in in surya ones 64th generation ram has come 64th generation and afterwards it is continued descendant you will look it is not only ancestors it will also matter after you how many generations your uh, your family has continued to rule if you will see the world point of view then uk birmingham house who are the royal family of the uk they are having the very strong ancestors and still they are able to protect their royalty now 64th generation was ram first generation was first was manu and in between so many king dilip was there bhagirathi was there who brought ganga on the earth so many stories are there i am not indulging here next it is a descendant will be there and uh, descendant you also you will find so many good and well known figure it will start with son of the ram that is kusha and after was so many people are there we have the records of 123 generation of this surya vansh just will try to understand in vocabulary point of view ancestors birth of man descendant we are sandwich between ancestors and descendant who are above them we are getting something hereditary in the form of hereditary in the form of biological property and whatever we will give to next generation that will become descendant then what is our duty our duty is to gain some good quality to provide good thing heredity in as a heredity to the descendant